Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to Polarity. My name is Lenny J. Tesla just wrapped up its quarter three earnings call. It was an hour's worth of decent questions and Elon saying this. I've never felt more optimistic about the future of Tesla than I than I do today. Now, that was, of course, in response to how great of a quarter Tesla had. So Q3 was our best quarter in history. We achieved the record production and deliveries, record revenue, record net income, uh, both gap and ungap, and record free cash, cash flow of $1.4 billion. Now, I don't want to talk about the numbers of quarter three in this video because there's tons of YouTubers already talking about that. I want to talk about some of the things that caught my ear while I was listening to the presentation. And I want to start off with autonomy, or of course, as you know, Tesla calls it FSD. I, I think we, we're starting very slow and very, just very cautiously um, because the world is a, a complex, messy place. And so we, we're, um, you know, we, we put it out there last night. And then we'll see how it goes and then uh, probably release it to more people uh, this weekend or early next week. Um, and then just gradually step it up um, until we have uh, hopefully a wide release uh, by the end of this year. Now, of course, that's in regards to the rewrite of FSD that's currently in the early access program in beta. Or I guess, honestly, I guess in alpha, if you really want to consider it that. Those current Tesla owners that are in that program using this are under NDA and are not supposed to actually release any new information with this yet. He then went on to say these cars are now collecting tons of data with different use cases that a simulation just can't predict. And after that, he said this. It's also important to emphasize that this is a generalized uh, neural net based approach. Uh, there is no need for high definition maps or a cell phone connection. So the, the car, the, the system is designed such that even if you have no connectivity whatsoever and you're in a place that you have never been to before and no Tesla has ever been there, the car should still be able to drive, just like a person. Now, the simple fact that the car could be smart enough to drive around on roads not previously driven by any Tesla is pretty huge in my book. And of course, it not having that internet connectivity is key because not every Tesla owner in all locations are going to have internet connectivity. And what if the tower just goes down? You're just out of luck now? No, you're not because the car can actually still drive. It doesn't need the internet connectivity. Musk also had this to say about owners being able to transfer their FSD purchase over to new cars. Yeah, I think we'll, 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 give, we'll give it some thought. Let's move on to vertical integration. That subject was brought up multiple times during the call, but I think it's his second response to that question that actually gets his point across in the most effective way. Okay, well, I mean, Tesla is, is absurdly vertically integrated compared to other auto companies or uh, basically almost any company. Uh, the, we have a massive amount of internal manufacturing technology that we that we build ourselves. We, we literally make the machine. We, in fact, we... We design, so like, okay, what is the thing we want to make? Design the machine that will make that thing. Then we make the machine. This is what, this, this, this makes it quite difficult to copy Tesla, which we're not actually all that opposed to people copying us, but it's quite difficult because you can't do catalog engineering. You can't just, I'll pick up the supplier catalog, I'll get one of this machine, one of that machine, bingo, I'm now I'm Tesla. Um, you have to, there is no catalog. What cat, you know, so we, we made the machine that made the machine that made the machine. <laughs> Now that's pretty self-explanatory if you ask me. Tesla is just simply ahead of the game, creating products to then help create its products. That's wild, isn't it? Of course, as of now, not everything Tesla does is in-house yet. Oh, and of course, if you ever wondered if LiDAR would come to Tesla, yeah, don't, don't get your hopes up. Hey, Elon, um, question on LiDAR. If LiDAR were totally free, would you want to use it in your car's near term, would that tech significantly help Tesla in the training of your neural network for FSD? I mean, totally free? Probably not. I think probably, I, I think even if it was free, we wouldn't put them on. So that's just some of the things that happened during the call. Elon also talked a little bit about Cybertruck and reiterated that Tesla's goal is to have a concept vehicle. And then when the production vehicle comes out, it's actually better than the concept vehicle. There's like a lot of, lot of small improvements compared to what was unveiled, you know, I think it's going to be better than what we showed. There are obviously new technologies with the, you know, high, high hardness, uh, kind of armored exoskeleton. This is I've never been done before, so there'll, be, there'll probably be some challenges along the way. If, if all goes well, we will be able to do some cyber truck deliveries uh, towards, the end of next, uh, towards the end of next year, yeah. So but it's, it's difficult to predict. Um, I would say there's probably a lot of deliveries in 22 and some deliveries towards the end of next year if things go well.
Tesla had its best quarter yet. FSD is coming to more people in the next week and it'll have a wider release by the end of the year. So I wanted to keep this video slightly short, so I'll end it right there. There's more to come, so subscribe to Polarity. Again, my name is Lenny J. This is Polarity, my new YouTube channel dedicated to the smarter means of transportation. I will see you in the next episode.